Hey everyone, this is Becky. Um, I just have a design team project to share with you guys. Um, this is also um, my candy drawer for my swap with Becky Long. Um, if you guys follow me, I think it's a video before this one you've seen that I received hers already. So if you're seeing this video, that means she got hers. And so um, I'm not going to make it public until she receives it and opens it because I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I've used a lot of Craft Supplies One goodies, um, and I used the bottom of a cigar box. Um, if you can tell, you'll be able to see it better when I empty it and stuff. So there is a lot to go through here, but I'm going to try and go as fast as I can and still be able to explain things. Um, this paper right here, and you'll see it up close um, here in a minute, um, I used Oh, here it is. Um, the Anna Marie. And I got this from Marla Rizzo. Um, it has a lot of pretty um, pastel greens and blues and pinks and stuff. So that's the paper that I used and there's a lot of scraps in there from, from this project. So that's the paper that I used and then these are Tim Holtz feet on the bottom. Um, and I'll probably just go th go over the box because it'll be easier, um, you know, once everything is empty out of it. So let me just move in my camera a little bit closer. And then um, let me just kind of start here. Um, this are, is just a clothespin, and I kind of did what Becky did um, and followed, or you know, did what she, and I think she followed Leone. And I don't remember her YouTube name, but she did a candy drawer. She did little charms um, with little pins, so that's what I did. This is a charm from Craft Supplies 1, and then some lace I shared with her, and I've used this on her box, too. You guys can kind of see that. And then these flowers are from Craft Supplies 1, as well as the pearl trim. And then the clothes pin I painted to match, or tried to match, and it's this picked raspberry um, from Tim Holtz. And my other one that I have is trim from Craft Supplies 1, another charm from Craft Supplies 1, and then the same flowers and pearl, uh, pearl trim, and the same paint. And then um, I have this one. And this paint is the Bundled Sage from Tim Holtz. And um, I just put a little pink um, flower from Craft Supplies 1. And then this is pink pearl trim from um, Craft Supplies 1 as well. And then there's a little sew machine. So cute. I got that from Craft Supplies 1. And the trim as well. And then... Um, Oh, let's see, I don't think I... This is, um... Oh, good grief. I've used it before. It's just like a silk um, ran through some lace kind of trim. And it's really pretty and I love it. And then here's a, a dress form made out of um, wood. I think it's a Kaiser Craft. If you guys can see right there. And I just wrapped some lace from Craft Supplies 1 around it with a little camera charm from Craft Supplies 1. And I did that so that she could still use it so I didn't paint it or anything. So she can take the lace off and use that, that wood piece. I thought that was really cute. Oh, good grief. My camera. Sorry. Oh, let me move it back. And then here is another one with that same bundled sage um, paint. And then some trim from Craft Supplies 1. Another perfume bottle charm from Craft Supplies 1. And then the flowers and the pearl trim from Craft Supplies 1. And then, um, here's a vintage spool. And I painted it with the picked raspberry and just put a flower from my stash on top. Underneath is a doily from Craft Supplies 1 and some leaves from my stash and then the trim is from Craft Supplies 1 hopefully, I don't know, it feels like it's always bright in here 
Hopefully you guys can see that. And then a charm from Craft Supplies 1. And then um, these little matchboxes. These are so cute. I altered these with the paper. And then underneath is a doily from Craft Supplies 1. The pearl sprays um, are from Craft Supplies 1. And the blue flower. This one's from my stash. And then this is a wood um, word tile from my stash. And then these little handles are Prima ones. And then you open it up. And this these are my first bottle caps. And look, I left the inside of the drawers plain. And the inside of there. Good for me, right? So, we don't want to run into problems. So here's my charm, my bottle cap charm, and these are the first time I've made it. These are Prima, the Prima bottle caps, and I just ran it through my um, uh, Big Shot, and then I actually had to use a nail and a hammer to punch the holes. I got to get one of those Tim Holtz things. So I just used some this one, this charm, and this one, this one. This key is all from Craft Supplies 1, and then this little clock charm is from my stash, as well as this little, like, crystal thing, diamond thing. And then this is from the Tim Holtz, um, the Ideology stickers. Um, I just put the bottle cap down and drew around it and cut it out. I kind of wanted it to look vintage. I know they're not like shabby chic, it doesn't really match like the um, candy drawer, but I think they're still cool looking. I need to get some of those bottle cap stickers or something to do, I don't know, do some shabby chic ones. So I made this little drawer for him to go in, so I think those are pretty cute. And then here's my other one. And then the same thing, the doilies from Craft Supplies 1, that white flower, the pearl sprays, um, this flower's from my stash, and then this um, word tie-out thing, and then some Prima little handles. And then this one is a butterfly one, and it's from the same Tim Holtz stickers. And then this butterfly is from my stash. And then this charm and this charm right here. Why is my camera not focusing? Hmm. And this little fairy charm is all from Craft Supplies 1. And then this little heart's from my stash. And then I made this out of some beads from my stash. So there's that one. See if I can put them back. They like to stick up. Okay. I'll just fix that later and put it aside. Alright, and then um, the next thing, the only thing I didn't use out of the paper was this, and it's a romance novel. Um, I just stuck that in there, but it says beautiful. And then these little things I made crocheted flower. This I got off Faith Chick 777's tutorial and it's her bold rose um, so I'll post a link to that below and then the little paper clip is from Try Heart and I don't remember there's numbers on the end I don't remember but I'll post a link to that tutorial too where she shows you how to crochet the um, paper clips so and I think they use a lot bigger ones but that's all I had so I did the best I could um, this doily is from Craft Supplies 1, and then all the flowers except for these two are from my stash, and these ones are from Craft Supplies 1. And then on the inside, let's see, I just have some like resins and stuff in there, wood pieces, art tiles. So that's what I did there. And I just did it like that. And then. Here's a pillow box that I did. Um, I just made it out of a toilet paper roll. You guys can see that. And then I just put some vintage buttons and stuff in there. Um, and then I just covered the toilet paper roll with 
paper and then I just, you know, bent the inside or the edges um, so that you can, or you know, it looks like a pillow box. So this doily is from Cross Supplies 1 and the, the pearl spray and then that flower is from my stash. Um, these beads are from Cross Supplies 1 except for the little tiny spacers. Those are from my stash and then this as well. So there's that. Um, I made a cupcake off of Miranda's tutorial, which is um, Miss Liberty 25, and I'll post a link to that below. And then I just put a butterfly from Craft Supplies one on top of that. And then here in the middle, um, Miranda hat says to use pearls or you know whatever, but I just cut some of the mesh bling from Craft Supplies one, the pink, and I put it in as flower centers. And then I did the flowers out of the paper. I alternated, alternated the green and the pink, and then I just put some doilies from Craft Supplies 1 in there, and then there's the bottom. So there's that. And then here's another pillow box. Um, I crocheted this flower, and then I, in the middle of it I just put some of the flower bead caps from Craft Supplies 1, as well as a bead. And then this um, ribbon is from my stash. I think I got that from Marla Rizzo. And then it's another toilet paper roll covered in paper. And I just put in here, let me show you really quick. Because I hand crocheted. This is what took me so long. Because I am actually like late. Because I crocheted all these. Um, but I'll post the links to the tutorials that I used. Um, so here are some hearts, and I did that off Faith Chick 777's tutorial. Um, there's another one, but I think hers are a lot cuter. <laughs> I think it's my yarn. I don't have the right yarn. There's another one. So there's the hearts, and then these are the flowers that I did. They're kind of a little smushed. Um, I just kind of did some just to kind of match uh, like the colors that I was using. She wanted pink and green. And there's another one. And then here's some more of the rolled roses. They're a little smushed. We can um, ban them back out or whatever. Here's a pink one. and then a white one and then I crocheted just some little hearts like this you can use them behind some flowers or something so that's what's in that one I'll just put them aside so I don't have to try to stuff them back in there but I think that's a cute little thing and then um, here's a stick pin that I made um, these are just some beads out of my stash. If you see my stick bin um, book, which I'll show you in a minute, if you've seen my video on that, you've probably seen this for a second. Um, this little flower bead cap is from Craft Supplies 1, and then the rest is just from my stash, and that's a <clears throat> 6 inch hat pin that I used from Joann's. And I just had that in there. Um, and then there's my stick pin book, and I'm not going to go over that because I've already done a video on it. So um, if you want to know more about it, it's a couple of videos back, and I'll post the link to it below. And then um, here's some of those frames um, I got from a tutorial I've seen, um, Creative Zoe Rosanna, I think is her name on YouTube. Um, I think it's I think it's that on Facebook, I know for sure, but... I seen her and um, Bona making these, I think it was Bona, doing these frames so I wanted to try it. And so I made a circle one and then there's the flower one and these are bracelets from the dollar store that I used. And then there's just different ones. And then this is a little mason jar um, wood piece from Joann's and I just tied some eyelash trim and some ribbon. So that's that. 
And then I made a whole bunch of resin pieces for her from just the molds that I have. I used some of the um, paper I cut with my Spellbinders die and some seam binding. I made a bow. And then this is a piece of that mesh bling, the flower mesh bling. And I just took a half back pearl from my stash and put in the middle. Um, but Craft Supplies 1 does carry half back pearls, so you can use those as well. I think they're really cute flower centers like that. I made a flower out of um, muslin, or I think, or do I don't remember. It's that fabric. This fabric, um, <laughs> um, out of the Tim Holtz dye, the tattered florals, and then this. Doily is from my stash, and then I did the same thing. Um, these flowers are ones that I made. This one I used to make in that white trim from my design team package. Um, they're kind of smushed. And then this one is using doilies from Craft Supplies one. This one's this one she can mist, um, and she can mist this one too with you know whatever her Lindy's sprays or whatever she has. And then um, the flower centers, there's another one of those flower centers that I used the bling. And then there, that's one too. And then these two flower centers are for my stash. I just used some fabric, cotton fabric, and it makes it all fluffy. So um, there's that. They're kind of smushed, you can't really tell. And then um, my other paper clips, I just got some of these. Um, just some stuff, and I just put paper clips at the top, and then some journaling cards. I just tied some seam binding around, and then some um, trims from my stash. I just put some eyelash trim around, and then some paper that I bought. All right, yeah, well, yeah, I bought it, but it's for her. And then, of course, there's little eyelashes at the bottom, but I just covered this. Um, oops, what was that? Oh, I just covered um, the inside of the cigar box, and this actually used to slide out, but I glued it down and I just covered it. Um, I used some of this bead trim from Craft Supplies One and lined it. You guys can see that. And then the outside right here, I just painted it with some texture paint. And I used some of that pearl, and I forget the name because it's all gone, but it's a Martha Stewart, and it's a pearl, pink pearl paint. So that's what I did there, and I did that all the way around. And then, um, here's the front. These flowers, except for this one, is from my stash. That's from Craft Supplies 1, as well as all of these, except for this one's from Craft Supplies 1. This lace trim is from Craft Supplies 1. And I put it all the way around. Um, I did some stenciling, if you guys can see that. Um, and then I just took some of the finer sand and mixed it with paint and just kind of dab it, dabbed it over just to kind of um, soften it up. You can't really see it on camera, but. I did some stenciling there, and then there's some there. And I did the same thing all throughout with the fine sand and paint, you know, just to kind of soften it up. And then um, this trim, this ruffly trim right here, I got from Marla Rizzo. And then this is the eyelash trim, and then there's that B trim from Cross Supplies Blonde. And then these are Tim Holtz feet, and I just painted them with gesso, and then I painted over them with antique white, and then I sanded them a little bit so the metal would kind of come through. And then here's the bottom, and because I had to use the 6x6 paper, so I had to piece it together. So I tried to cover it up because it was really bad on the bottom because of the black, so I used my stencil. Um, and I used some shimmers, um, their texture paint or whatever. I don't, the I think it was I don't remember, 
But anyways, um, I used theirs, and then I used my stencil, and then what I did is I went back over with the um, sand and paint and just dabbed it on there. Um, oh, before I did that with the paint, though, I did stamp. If you guys can kind of see, I stamped over where I stenciled, so it didn't, like, stand out. I tried to blend it in, so I used my song stamp. And I stamped over it, and then I used the texture paint over the whole thing. And then here in the front is, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, this is a Prima resin. And this one has a hole in the middle, so I really wanted to use that, but I didn't know what I wanted to do, like, so you wouldn't see that hole. So I used this bead for my stash, and then these little, um, bead caps are from craft supplies one and then just some beads from my stash except for that heart one that's from craft supplies one and I just kinda hooked them together so I made you know like a little charm I don't know if you guys can see that but I made like a little charm thing you know and then with the loop I hang, hung this other charm from it and then I painted this heart and I think I got this from Becky she sent me some hearts but I painted it the same as I did the feet, except for with just gesso, and then I used my chalk paint over the top. And I don't remember what color, I think it was Blossom Tree that I used. So that's that's my candy drawer for Becky. Um, and then, of course, I'm sending her some extra goodies. So if you're friends with her on Facebook, um, I'm sure she's going to post pictures. And um, I hope you guys like it and leave any comments, questions you have below and I'll post the links to the tutorials that I followed for the crocheting and stuff. So um, I hope you guys have a great day and if I forget to post anything below, links to anything, please let me know and I will get it posted. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.